Let's talk about clutter. Now, if you follow me over at Life of Plan Prep Pray, you know that we are in the process of packing up our home and doing a deep declutter and move and all the things. Clutter to me can be so overwhelming. It is and and I'm talking all types of clutter. It can be what really it can take over a home. It can take over a home and it can cause so much stress, so much undue, unnecessary stress from visual clutter to toys to all the things. It not only stresses adults out, but it also stresses kids out. And so these are the three things that I personally do in order to keep my stress levels down when it comes to clutter. Now, I have a video talking all about our cleaning routine. In that video, I go over our declutter days. We have two days a month. That is our monthly declutter days. Now, those days are, um, we go through and we get rid of ripped books, clothes that no longer fit, um, as well as things that are not being played with, those types of things. And so I will link that video in the description because it goes over our entire cleaning routine. But having those set two days, I know that even if I don't get around to it in the moment, there will be that set time to go through and declutter because clutter has a way of sneaking in. It has a way of coming for you even though you didn't go looking for it. So <laughs> that is by far one of the most helpful things that I would say is to have one to two days a month where it is your monthly declutter days. Before we go on, this is a collaboration with my friend Anna over at Just Making It Work. Anna, I've talked about her before, but she is also a productivity guru and all about home management and managing the home and she does an amazing job over at her channel of having different tips and different tricks so definitely check out her video as well as the playlist of the all the other homeschool mamas talking about decluttering and taking charge of that clutter in their home now the second thing that I would definitely recommend is easy cleanup. Trying to organize your home for the littlest of kids um, or for the little ones. So for example, we do a no fold system. We do a capsule wardrobe. We also organize our books in a way that is not very pretty. Like they're not all standing, you know, in height level, color coded. No, they're all in a bin where all the books are just, all the board books are just dumped in the bin and the bin is pretty and you just slide it into the cubby. Um, so if you organize for the little ones, it tends to be less overwhelming and it creates a system that kind of keeps the visual clutter out of the way. Um, and by having a capsule wardrobe for our children, it not only helps with clutter because we have, they, they don't necessarily have random shirts and random tops and this, that, and the other. Their shirts match their pants and their pants match their bottoms and they're just able to mix and match and they don't have a lot of it. It's a minimal um, capsule wardrobe as well. And that has worked for us so well, especially because we get um, quality pieces. So one of the things I would definitely recommend is organizing for the littlest of kids. It not only helps with organizing the chaos and just making a little bit more of organized chaos. It also helps with allowing them to be independent and helpful in the cleanup process and also decreasing on the time that is spent um, cleaning up as well. Now we don't normally think of this as a thing, but this is what I'm currently working through right now. We've got thousands <laughs> of emails and a bunch of apps on my phone that I'm taking designated time every single day to go through and delete a certain amount of things. But phone clutter can be such an overwhelming thing that we don't even realize. Like when you open up your phone and you're just like, doo, 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 it's just so much stimulation and so much disorder. And so that is something that I am currently working through and that I definitely recommend that you take into consideration when figuring out a decluttering routine or organization or things like that is 
phone clutter and setting set times or set days to go through that and making sure that you're actually utilizing all those apps or that you've gone through and deleted. Let me, hold on, I'm gonna tell you how much emails I've got right now. That you've gone through and deleted your 14,000 emails, which is what I'm at right now. So I'm telling you to do this and I'm in the trenches with you at the same time. So, and let me know in the comments, what is your biggest declutter organization system tip. I need all the tips because in our new home, I wanna set up a whole new routine um, because even though we have these tips, we still get to the point that things get overwhelming. And so I'm only getting better, right? Refinement, right? It's a constant sanctification process. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to check out that video about our cleaning routine, click this video right here. Don't forget to check out the playlist as well as Anna's channel. And until next time, bye.